Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Ella. And this is using meat instead of motors. How big is your bicep? Oh, it's pretty big. That's meat. What? Muscle is meat. That's right. And muscles are activated by electrical impulses from the nervous system. So maybe we can build a robot that uses meat instead of motors. Yeah, that'll do. That one. Yeah, we'll have sausages. Honey roasted. Honey roasted. Yeah, that looks alright. So we went on a field trip to Waitrose, which is a supermarket in England, and we got some meat. What have we got in the bag? A bit of ham. Some ham. Honey some roasted. Some sausages. Sausages. And some chicken. So mainly meats. Right, so what we're going to do is take this battery that's a drone lipo, and we're going to put power on sausages and see what happens. So I don't know how I'm going to... Oh, that's very soft. It's kind of attached. Let's just out. Get this on here, and then I'm going to shove this in this battery, and we'll see if it moves. Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Let's just try the other one. This is coming off in clods. Why is this meat so weird? Just, just try again. I think it's making a sound, but it's not really moving. I don't think we can use this as a motor. What's that? That's vegan. That's not meat? Yeah, that's not meat. That's not meat? That's not meat. That's not meat? That's not meat. That's not meat? That's not meat. It's vegan? That's not meat. That's not meat. That's not meat. That's not meat? That's not meat. It's not meat. It's not meat. Right, are you ready for ham? I think I'm ready for this ham. Is, this is Ham's turn. Let's uh, try and connect uh, it's the clip stick a bit better to ham. Maybe this will work. Right, there we go. Come on. No, nothing? No ham? No ham. I don't know why... This is meat. Yeah. Oh, hang on. It's because it's cooked. Is it cooked meat? Oh, this is cooked. So yeah. that's why... Maybe that doesn't do anything, because mm. it's cooked and it's not a muscle anymore. It's chicken's turn. We've got the chicken wired up the same as before. This one's raw meat, and it's definitely meat, so let's see what happens. Let's go. <gasps> oh! Amazing, I can't believe it works. So it took a few seconds for the muscle to contract again, but let's just try it again and see if it still works or what's happened. There it goes. Amazing. But before we find out more about that, it's time for a quick ad from the video's sponsor, which is brilliant. Understanding the big ideas behind data and computer science is essential to building a successful career in tech. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced maths to AI, data science, neural networks and more, with new lessons added monthly. The math courses are great if you want to learn math fundamentals or more advanced topics. They start with the graphical examples so you can get to grips with the basics before more advanced learning. Brilliant is an essential tool for professionals. Brilliant's visual, hands-on approach is such an effective and engaging way to master the key concepts behind today's technology, which is critical to staying ahead. It's built for busy people. The lessons are bite-sized, so they break down important concepts into understandable parts. Brilliant is the most effective way to learn. To really learn anything, you've got to go through it and do it, just like the way I learned to do science. It's like having a personal learning coach. Helpful explanations along the way never leave you guessing what's being discussed in the lessons. And Brilliant helps you build analytical skills. With Brilliant, you learn how to think. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash jamesbruton or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Right, let's find out what we can do with this piece of chicken. Have you ever really looked inside the body of a chicken? Probably not. Well, we have these diagrams here today to show you something you probably don't know, which is that chickens are an incredibly powerful bird. Their muscles are the strongest of any modern bird, and that is because they are the closest living relative descendant from the T-Rex. Now, how can we use this power to help us in our modern lives. So I've made this amazing test rig, which has got this joint on the top that's like an arm, and then we've got two muscles. So one of these is like a bicep. So if I put power on the red and green, then we should find 
Well, that one shrinks up and the other one stretches. So that's like your bicep. But what about your tricep? And then if I go for the black and blue wires, then we should get the other muscle pulling it the other way. Here we go, just like a human. Hooray, it works. You really can use meat instead of a motor to build a robot. I knew it. Oh, I should wash my hands now. Yeah, you don't want to get food poissoning. Doesn't poisson mean fish? No, it's chicken, not fish. But I don't want to get salmonella. I just said it's chicken, not salmon. What are we going to do with this? So I was thinking we could reassemble a chicken made out of chicken. Why would you do that? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Like a Franken chicken? I don't know about mm. that. Do you have any other ideas? Yes, my other idea is a pipe organ where chicken opens the valves and plays music. Oh, but we already made a pipe organ, remember? <laughs> Oh, I'm just zip tying this chicken onto some 3D prints. Right, so I've built this controller that's got an Arduino Mega in, as usual for my projects. It's got some relays that you can see turning on here. And we've got some connections out here that go to the two chicken muscles. So basically, this is turning on one muscle, and then it's waiting for five seconds for the muscle to contract, and then it's turning on the other one. So I've made a kitchen cleaning robot that pushes this glove balance and forwards to clean the surface using two bits of chicken as muscles. That's to stop us getting food poisoning. That's pretty clever. Can it do anything else? Yeah, every so often it squirts this squirty bottle of kitchen cleaner using a third chicken muscle. Oh, so the chickens can have a new lease on life. Yeah, helping out around the kitchen. Wow. We did science. You really can use meat as motors. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last part? But I don't want to get salmonella. I don't want to get salmonella. But I don't want to get salmonella. Okay, sorry. It's really conceptually getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we already made a pipe organ, remember? Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet memories.